Hey folks, your OS Reviews. You're watching our video first look and a quick review of the Smart Omni G TWS earbuds. These are truly wireless earbuds that are sports oriented, so they're, they're splash proof and you get a pair of them, so they're stereo and they sync up wirelessly to, to each other. They also act as traditional wireless headsets, so you can use them to answer phone calls with the built-in microphone and it comes with a nice carrying case as part of the package. It sells for sub 50 bucks, which is average for a true wireless headset, um, although the charging is still done using the standard micro USB as opposed to a um, you know, proprietary charging contact case, so that's something to quickly point out. The packaging here is pretty Pretty simple. Inside there's access to, again, the aforementioned micro USB charging cable. You can see there are two arms, one to charge each earbud, and then there's also some spare silicon tips to get a more comfortable fit. Here's the hard shell case with the ear tips inside, and there's also a quick user manual that tells you how to pair it up as well as some basic specifications. So you can see that the battery time is rated at roughly five hours, which is average, slightly short of the six hours I want to see and expect to see, but for true wireless earbuds, they're about average. Um, it charges up in under two hours, and you can see the driver size is uh, rated at 14 millimeters, and it has a frequency response of 20 to 20,000 hertz, all fairly typical for something of this price point. And it uses Bluetooth version 4.2, which has a connectivity range of roughly 10 meters or 33 feet. So there's also a nice little clip on this case, and inside there is access to the two ear tips, one on each side. Taking a look at the design first, we have this fairly comfortable rubber arm that catches onto the sides of your ears, and again, it makes these more sports oriented. So if you are vigorously exercising or shaking your head around, running, jogging, these are going to still remain tightly in place, especially since the ear tip is also slanted at this ergonomic angle that catches onto the sides of your ears, so it really prevents things from falling loose. They are, again, a little bit bulky, so they're not the lightest headsets in the world, but they are mostly made out of plastic. What I like about the design is this kind of far carbon fiber-like texture on the front, even though it's just made out of plastic. It gives it an interesting look and uh, makes it seem a bit more expensive than it really is. On the very top, there's access to your controls, which you use to pair the headsets to each other, powered on, as well as uh, turn up the volume, turn it down, and also answer reject phone calls, which also dubs as the play pause key. On the other side, there's access to a rubber flap that covers up the micro USB port for charging, and then you have the exact same controls located on the other side. Um, they take a little bit of time to get used to for finding these keys, which are pretty tactile, but if you're wearing them and then you press something, you do have to take a few minutes to get used to them, but afterwards, they do work out decently as far as the controls are concerned. So when it comes to the audio experience, I was reasonably pleased with the G headsets. Um, there are a little bit of static in the background, so this is fairly common for true wireless earbuds since essentially you have to use wire Bluetooth to connect to your phone, and then the headsets have to communicate with each other wirelessly as well, so that each time it kind of degrades the quality of the audio, and sometimes there's a bit of latency where if you play back music um, and you pause the music, there's going to be one to two seconds of split delay. So if you're watching a ton of video, it might not be the best option in the world. But if you're working out and listening to music, they do work really quite well. They are quite noise isolating since these uh, in your tips are very snug and they fit in quite well. And the sound quality here offers surprisingly more bass than I expected. So they do get quite loud, especially in the lower frequencies. They are clean sounding, I would say, for something of this price range. And if you're listening to pop, electronic, folk music, you won't be too disappointed. Obviously, these aren't audiophile grade, but I have yet to see a true wireless pair of headphones which are audiophile grade. So um, I think that Smart Omni did a pretty good job here as far as the sound in the existing technology. Microphone quality is also uh, pretty strong. It isn't active noise canceling, so there's only one mic, but even if you're outdoors and even if there's some wind in the background, it still captures your voice fairly sharply. And again, no real complaints from a few sample test calls that I made using it uh, with an Android phone. And again, pairing is pretty simple despite the lack of NFC. You just uh, open up settings, uh, Bluetooth settings on your phone, either iOS or Android, and just find the Smart Omni, and uh, you pair it using just one of these earbuds, and afterwards you turn on the other, and they will wirelessly sync with each other within a few seconds. So the whole process is fairly painless, and I had no real issues as far as the, the testing process went. So you can learn more details about the Smart Omni G True Wireless Earbuds in our official written review, but for now this has been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. This has been the Smart Omni G.